Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've been on the Let's Play, and that's because I've been working really hard to code for the 4.0 release. As part of that, I have opened this testing server for 4.0 as a testing world to test my code and for other people to join in and look out for bugs and issues as well. So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to join as well. First, click on the link in the video description to download the zip file. The zip file will be called beta testing packwiz master.zip. Next, open up a multi MC base launcher, such as prism launcher. This is the one that I use and I really like using it. Drag the zip file into here and it should create a new instance. This window should pop up. It's going to prompt you to enter a name and a group, but you don't really have to. So you can just press OK and it will import the mod pack for you. So you can see it's right here. You should also sign into the launcher if you haven't already. In this case, I'm signed into my own account, but you can click on manage accounts to sign in if you need to. Before we launch the game, there are some settings that we need to modify. So make sure that the instance is selected and then click on edit. Go to the settings tab and check the memory checkbox. For minimum memory and maximum memory, I would recommend putting at least four gigabytes, which will be 4096 and 4096. And then you can click on close when you're done. Now, double click on this icon or you can just press launch to launch the instance. The first time you launch it, it might take a little while for Minecraft to pop up, but that's perfectly normal. So just give it a few seconds and it should open up. All right, once you're in the main menu, you can go ahead into the options to change your video settings or anything else that you want to change. When you're happy with the settings, you can just go into multiplayer. The server should be loaded here already. This is hosted by Shockbyte and the performance has been really great so far. If you want to host your own server, make sure that you use Shockbyte and use the code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month. All right, we're back into the world and this is Jennifer Street Station. And something that you might have noticed is that these things are present. What is this? These are items from the Linden Underground add-on. So I'm gonna give you some updates for 4.0 as well. So the Linden Underground add-on has been successfully ported over to 4.0. There are no official downloads at this point, not even on Discord, but on this test server, it can be your first chance to try it out. I'm going to release the updated 4.0 version as well as the Linden Underground add-on to the Discord pretty soon. But if you really want to try it out first, then this server is the way to go. So let's take a look at our inventory to see what's new in the Linden Ground Underground add-on. Or I guess not what's new, but like what's what's been ported over. So the passenger information displays you've just seen. Although I haven't gotten the font to render properly yet. So right now it's just rendering with a default Minecraft font, which is pretty good. It's not bad, but using the Linden Underground font, that would be even better. So these stairs have been split into three parts. I think these were called the Morden stairs before, but now they're just generic gray concrete steps, which means you can make them as wide as you want instead of just three blocks wide like the original model was. These are much wider and you can customize them to look however you want them to look. I think maybe like if you want a center railing, you can also kind of do that with this block like that. And then you have the right side. See? Well, although it's not really even, it's not perfect, but it works. So now I have a handrail in the middle. All right, so let's take a look at what other blocks there are. Dynamic station name projector. This is actually a new block that's going to be added in 4.0, but I haven't completed the code for that yet. So I'm not going to show you that right now. 
Then we have the mine the gap. Oh, mine the gap platform block actually doesn't line up with these ones. This is for the island platform. So like if you have a super narrow platform or if you, I don't know. I don't know what's really the, the purpose of the island platform because the texture is the same. The placement of the yellow line is just more close to the edge. So maybe people can enlighten me in the comments below. But these models are also really detailed. If you look at that, each of these little bumps is 3D, which is really cool. And then, yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. And the mind the gap text is now properly across all three blocks. All right, I'm gonna revert this just for now. And then let's see, exit sign. These are all the same. Hmm, I just noticed that the main London Underground tab uses this roundel as the tab icon, although the actual roundels are over here in this tab. So these are the ones that are actually station named, which means if you put it down, it's going to show the name of your station, which is really cool. But then these ones just have the generic word underground on it, not the station name. I don't know how it is in real life. If the roundel will have the station name on it, probably not. It's just gonna say the word underground, I think. But the last time I've been to London was when I was like five years old. So I don't remember very much. I just remember that I really like riding on the London underground. So <laughs> don't remember much from that. Also the tunnel block with the signal on it. Can't tell just yet which block it is. It's this one, but there's not really an icon that indicates there's a signal on here. Yeah, so this block doesn't really work right now. You can see it just stays green the whole time because signal lights have not been implemented in the main mod as well. So unfortunately that has not been, that's not functional right now. Some smaller updates for the Minecraft Transit Railway mod for 4.0 include these like, I don't know what this you call this, enchantment glint for the station color blocks, which previously wasn't in the 4.0 previews. So now they've been added. And what else? The arrivals have been much more accurate now. So I fixed the departure system and I fixed the way the trains are being deployed from the depot. Basically the calculations are more accurate and more detailed. Before we've been having issues sometimes with like seeing ghost trains on the platform information display system or seeing the train come in but the platform information display isn't updating to show that the train is currently here. So those are not good things but they've been fixed in the latest version which will be released pretty soon. Also I'm on the district's line right now. And there are two destinations for the district's line, Sentown Port and Somnium Railway Station. So this train right now is going to Sentown Port, but it's very important for the passenger information display system to show the correct train departures because that's one of the only ways that you know where the train is going. So it's very important for you to be able to see which train is going to which destination because the line splits at the end. So you don't want to get on the wrong train. Also, just because we're passing the station and I'm looking at the station blocks, the clock is has been in the mod since forever, since like the two point something versions. If you haven't seen the history video, by the way, that was posted last week. That goes through a very brief overview of the mod, history of the mod. These Rado clocks in MTR stations have been going away. Apparently the reason is because of shortage of parts. So it's really sad to see them go because they've been installed in MTR stations like the Urban Line MTR station since forever. And I remember as a little kid that I would see these clocks everywhere as well. So it's sad to see them being taken out of service. I hope they keep some just for memory's sake or to put in a museum or something. But yeah, sad to, sad to hear that. And it makes sense that an old product is not really gonna be supported 
as time goes on, so... At least it's in the mod forever now. <laughs> and yeah, I guess that's one of the reasons why I introduced it so early on as well in the mod. Just because it's one of my favorite things to see in an MTR station, I guess. Not my top uh, yes, favorite, I guess. No, I like seeing the trains more than the clocks. Station, that's because that's what you go to a train station for, right? You go to a train station to ride trains, or you go there to see the clocks. I don't know, but for me, I like riding the trains as well. Wow, look at that. You see that high-speed rail jam? It's a pretty bad jam. Let's go, go outside and take a look. Yeah. <laughs> There are trains as far as the eye can see. These are pretty long trains as well, so... Alright, so... In this video, I've explained how to install the mod, how to join this server, this testing server, and what are some new updates for 4.0. So with that, I hope you're able to learn something new, learn how to join the server, and I hope to see you on this testing server. Just a few notes about this testing server is that it is, of course, work in progress. And we're not really asking for builders to build anything right now because this server will be restarted at any time and the world can be reset at any time. So whatever you build, it might get reset, rolled back to the backup, basically. This is because this is, again, a testing world. So. It's important for me to test loading data from an old world save as well. So that's the reason why I'm always like restoring backups and restarting the world. So expect frequent updates so you can try out the latest features. And if you don't want to build a whole new world by yourself, this is also a great place to test out the trains, ride around the server. There's a lot of lines to explore. Let me show you the system map real quick, actually, because there's really a lot of stations on here. This is the new 4.0 map, like the new website and I guess the new UI for it. It uses Angular, so you see a lot of Google styled controls here because Angular also has a material library, including Google's like material design. So that's why there's a lot of that. And you can also see some real-time arrivals just like the old map. It's very feature limited compared to the current map in 3.2 of the mod. But still, this is a good preview of what's coming. Eventually, I'm going to add in more features, but for now, you can explore the server. Go take the trains around. I hope to see you on the server soon. Stay tuned for more 4.0 updates, and I'll see you next time. Bye!